Hello, this is story time, and my name is Sin Bagley. I'm going to read a story from my book called Ghostly Glimmers, a collection of short stories. And this was written many years ago, and I published it in 2015. On the Mystery Train the black train chugged through the station. Its smoke curled and settled on the small Kansas town. There was no one waiting for passengers or luggage on the platform. The station was dark and cold. The cry of the trains that pulled away woke a few of the lighter sleepers. They grumbled and went back to sleep. There were no more trains and there were definitely no more steam engines running through this small town. The last one they had seen was in the late 1980s pulling the last load and the last passengers. All of their food, clothing, and essentials came by trucks nowadays. There were no more trains. The train slipped through the night sky and vanished. Kathy boarded that train. She had wanted to leave her life behind. She had spent her life being a daughter, mother, and then a caretaker. It had been too much when her husband had become a vegetable. When she had decided to allow the doctors to end his life, she felt that her life had ended too. Her children, ungrateful brats, wanted the house. They wanted to put her in a nursing home. She had seen what happened to the old folks who lived in nursing homes. It was a mind and body killer. She wanted much more than that. So when the train pulled up to the tracks at the back of the house, she grabbed her coat, a flashlight, some candy bars, and climbed on. An old black man helped her onto the train. He pulled a watch out of his waistcoat and checked the time and helped her to a seat. Where are we going? she asked him. Ma'am, he said, to your destination. He pulled a blanket down from an overhead bin and wrapped it around her. She snuggled in and felt her eyes droop. Yes, her destination. She hoped it was better than the last one. She fell asleep listening to the clickety-clack of the train. The next morning her children found her cold body with a smile on her face. Instead of wondering at her smile, they spent the rest of the day arguing over her estate. Not one of them noticed the slight smell of coal in the air. <laughs>